So I have another um, reading list recommendation for you um, that I try to come on here that our world as a whole has a very broad spectrum of things that are honestly cultural sermons that it's trying to preach and has a specific outline to how those sermons are taught and it's pervading everything from media to the academy to science and things like it's all over the place and it's very difficult to avoid and so you have that you already are being exposed to on a regular basis whether you know it or not so try to present additional sources that are contrary to that narrative so that you can get something of a opposing voice and kind of flesh out that simply instead of just buying what you've been sold you can hear the opposite perspective and maybe make a more informed choice so that's the idea and so there's a book it's called cynical theories and it's designed to confront in our society the critical theories that we ex are exposed to on a regular basis and um, the critical race theory is the one that you've probably heard a lot about recently where there's different legislative bodies trying to ban it and things so there's that one but that's not the only one if you didn't know it there's also critical theories involving sexuality there's also critical theories involving gender, and there's also critical theories involving the environment, and there, it's like there's a ton of them, quite frankly. Several. This one goes point by point through all of those different ones involving the transgender, transsexual debates, and the uh, feminism, and through the different waves of feminism that have developed over time, suffrage, liberation and all of these things that it goes through historically where they began where they are now it talks about influential individuals thoughts and theories that have impacted them but also talks about uh gives you kind of weapons and tools with which to discuss these things in a more holistic way so that you can understand them but also so that you can kind of argue back in a more um, evolved or developed manner so it's a really interesting thing uh, what's really critical about it for me is that um, it's not written really from a conservative standpoint that it is written instead from a liberal perspective and that's important because of the fact that liberals, the idea of liberalism is that it challenges the status quo. Whatever the dominant narrative is, liberalism is contrary to it. And so we think that liberalism is these critical theories, but it's not. And that actually because of the power structures that have embraced those critical theories, they are the status quo. The leftism is that they are the controlling narrative. Liberalism is supposed to be contrary to those things, questioning the authority, questioning, like, that's what liberalism does. If no matter what the question is, they ask why, right? And so liberal, it, the, it's kind of a call to action, more or less, to question these supposed settled narratives that are being taught without question here to start asking those questions again and try to upset and unseat these things from the perspective of them being settled science or whatever it is, because they're not. They just have a stranglehold on the budget strings and on the moral or emotional strings of, diff of different public environments that quite frankly, they've beaten their opponents into submission and into silence and that we need to start talking again. We need to start raising these challenges in order to take back the academy and to take back the churches and take back the governments that have bought into this nonsense. So it's a really interesting, compelling narrative 
that even if you are not necessarily conservative, you're a liberal, you will find that this is very useful for you. Even if you are, are a conservative, however, you also find it very useful, even though it's not really for you, per se. It's really good. Highly recommend it. Go check it out.